of past functionality. Marido is the first of the class. Lady of Malu gave to a lady of the group. Jerome Marido made to a very little. Arthur de Rome and Mama Dori by your Gracia. Family of yours, we have a most gentle, the Marilyn Gracia, who of the people of the year, and the Marilyn Gracia.
This is the central mystery of our faith as Christian. As the apostle Paul tells us, he cries as a new place from the dead, from the king in his business. We too are invited to rise in Jesus, but first we have to die to our own self, our selfish desires, hopelessness, and misery. Only then shall we rise again as new men and women. For the gospel of hope and happiness, our confidence lies in Jesus conquer the power of sin and death. United with him, we too can become new persons. They put him to death by having him on the feet. 
This man got raised on the third day and granted the three days before, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one apostle by God as judge of the beginning and the end. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. That the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has come in power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become a cornerstone. By the Lord who has this been done, it is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Christ's resurrection challenges Christians to die to these corrupt and wicked ways and to rise as you, you persons sincere and faithful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little is that is all the world? Clear out the old beast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough in as much as you are a leaven. For our pastor that Christ has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the peace, not with the old peace, the yeast of bags and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the Holy Gospel. Praises. Adam, the Christian who lives. Christ, who only is witness, reconciled sinners to the Father. Then and life has been ready to declare what you saw. Wait for me. The tomb of Christ. Who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and that in resting. Yes, Christ my hope is risen, to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life of the enemy. Have mercy.
and in heaven. Glory be to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw a stone removed from the tomb. So she ran to them to find the leader, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they took him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and prayed. They both ran to the other disciple, who ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He went down and saw the very close there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived at the tomb, he went in the tomb and saw the very close there. And the cloth that had covered his head, not with the very close, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in. The one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw a dream. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. Yeah. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter po, sa inyong lahat. Meron po akong nabasa sa isang article, sa isang article, na ang pamagat ng kanyang sinulat ay decline of religion at pinagdag niya kapag isisin in the primitives in particular sa bigay ang ating tao number of Catholics ay the Philippines are decreasing umabak at pagdag niya later or sooner or in the future rather this religion that is in the Philippines will gradually disappear mawawala ka mamamatay. And saan niya nabase ang kanyang observation? Ang sabi niya sa huli na mga ginagawa natin, ang mga activities natin, ang mga religious practices natin na ginagawa natin tuwing huli. Una sabi niya, ang ginawa yung sa pabasa. Sabi niya, sa pabasa daw, kadalasan ang nag-sponsor ng pabasa mga tao ay kaya. Dahil pagkatapos ng pamasa, siya ay maghahandam ng pagkain para sa mga lumadal. Now, wika niya, kapag nawawala na daw itong mga generous person na sponsor ng pabasa, nobody will think that place. Because as of now, by now, young generation are not interested anymore in this kind of religious exercises. Marami rin sa aspeto na ito, baka mangyari din. Dahil wala na mong kakadibig sa mga taong gumagawa, lalo na yung pabasa na ito. Kasi ito yung gawa ng katagrasa ng mga nakakaragasa. At nung po rin, mapapatuloy pa rin ito sa mga narito na mga tao. And second, sabi niya, nung unang panahon daw, 10 years or 10 years ago, kapag panahon lang yung Holy Week, ang mapapanood sa tayo sa television ay yung mga religious movies. Buhay ni Noah, Buhay ni Moses, Ten Commandments, Jesus of Nazareth, and so on and so forth. Sa ngayon daw, nawawala ang magawag sa isa ay dito, sabi niya. Dahil ang dami daw movie ngayon na mga kita o mapapanood sa internet ang ganda yung Netflix at madali na ang pagsat at itong mga movies na mapanood na natin tuwing mo din ito daw ay mawawala. Perhaps, makasiguro siya sa kanyang analysis of observation. Nagtagal niya, yung mga panahon, sabi niya, ang mga mayayangan ng dalawang may kaya ang nasunta sa mga beaches, sa mga resort tuwing ito din. Marami ang nasunta sa mga resort pero nawa yung sabi na kahit yung middle class ay pumunta na rin sa mga business at ang ito during holy week. So yung sabi yung sabi na nawawala na yung practice talaga ng mga katolik ko. And for that, we also concluded that our members, our members rather, our Catholic brothers and sisters, 
ang number ay magpilipis. Collective by Deltex, that is not true. Because based from the survey, 80% of the Filipinos are Christian. And 60% of the 8% are Catholic. Mga kapatid, ang ating walang palataya ay hindi nakabatay sa mga religious practices na ginagawa natin to the people. Minus this popular devotion, popular religiosity, ang pananampalataya natin ay matapat at malatili. This religious practices will only enhance, will only deepen our relationship with Jesus. Dahil sa mga practices na ito, mapalalim at makilala natin ang lubos ang ating Panginoon. So even without this pabasa, without, without this station of the cross, ang pananampata. Para tayo, katolik, krisyano, ay malatata. Every Sunday, every mass that we attend on Sunday and Sunday, we profess our faith by reciting our creed. The nice creed or also creed. Yan po yung bukod yung paninampala tayo natin. Yung bukod ng ating paninampala tayo if you are aware, binibigkas po kami niya tuwing isa sa krego. And part of that krego, meron po binibigkas natin, pinaprotest natin that Jesus was crucified. He was, he died. He was buried. But on the third day, he rose again. And this is what you are celebrating today. The biggest feast in our Catholic faith. The peace of all peace ang kanyang tuloy magkabuhay. At ang aking palanagpalataya nakabagay ka, nakabagay ka. Kaya nga tayo nagsisigay. Kaya tayo nanalangin eh. Because we look forward that after our life here on earth, meron po nagbibitay sa ating nabagay buhay. To be with Christ forever in His kingdom. Buhay na wala ng hindi. The resurrection of Jesus. Ito yung pinag-reward natin ngayon. Kasi kung wala po ng resurrection, wala po ang kabuhay mo eh. Para ano pa tayo magsisipa? Bakit pa tayo gumagawa ng kabutihan? Mas madaling gumawa ng masama kaysa kamulut. Gumagawa tayo ng kabutihan ito sa pinag-reward. Meron po ang magbibigay sa atin na buhay na wala sa atin. Nasisipa po tayo because we are convinced our faith teaches us that there is life after death. Ngayon ipinakita sa ating Panginoon how we became victorious kung hindi ikaw na buhay po ni si Jesus. And also our faith yung wala ng muling pagkabuhay. Naniwala ko tayo sa pagkabuhay and then we look forward to that we hope that someday after our journey here on earth we will be reunited with our Savior, our Lord. At nagdag mga kapatid sa ating credo, binagin ko sa last part ng ating credo, we progress in the time of every Sunday the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Buhay na walang panggal. In the Gospel of John, sabi niya sa kanyang mga disipulo, there are many rooms in my father's house. I am going there and I will prepare one of you a place in my father's house. Mauko na ako kaya ipaghahanda ko kayo, kayo, ng lugar. Kaya sabi niya, kung saan siya, nandun din tayo. Kung saan tayo, nandun din siya. And it's so very inspiring times. Christ said in the gospel. Dahil para sa kanya, sana ay magkaisa tayo doon sa bahay ng kanyang ama na inaanda para sa 
Yung kanilang palataya sa akin mga kapatid, they can already live. Review our baptism. Our baptism ang daw. Masasubukan na naman yan. Kung talaga tatlo na ito talaga yung mga pinapangako natin mga yan. Dahil mga yan, sa ritual natin sa ating binyak, kasi kung tayo yung binyakan, tayo yung mga maliit na bata, sanggol, and our parents, that there is at the one or where the one answering on our behalf. But during this ritual, we are sincere and honest. Especially when I say, we renounce Satan. If you are not sure if you are not sincere, I do challenge you, do not answer and make promise. Because by the moment we will go out after this mass, temptation is to break them. Now if we give in to the temptation, nang alam natin na rin yan, kasalanan yan. Therefore, walang saysay ang ating sinusumpaan na ipinangako sa pag-review o pagbabago ng ating mga pangako sa dunia. This is our challenge. This is the challenge of this part of us as we review our baptismal practices. Please don't rise. Please don't rise. <coughs> Dear brothers and sisters, through the Pascal mystery, we have been married with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so now that our blessed observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, my brothers and sisters, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand? Of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Amen. And may my God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life.
Lord hear us. Listen, Lord, hear us. May the church courageously proclaim your son's victory to a world living in sin through very weapons of love that we might live and remain in peace. We pray. Listen, Lord, hear us. May the ecclesiastical and government leaders guide to their personal interests so that like the good shepherd, they may faithfully serve your people through listening and journeying with them. We pray. Praise the Lord, hear us. May all the baptized believers die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God. We pray. Risen Lord, hear us. May there be new hope and life for those who are struggling and in pain today. We pray. Risen Lord, hear us. May all of us who are gathered here today promote the dignity of life and peace in a world in a world ever in agony. We pray. Risen Lord, hear us. To our great provider, may we shower good shepherd, parish parishioners, workers, love offering directors, donors, and sponsors, your great abundance of love, life, good health, and financial stability, so that they can continue to be blessing to others, and others will see the reward in them. We pray. Praise the Lord, hear us. For a culture of peace and non-violence, we pray for the spread of peace and non-violence by decreasing the use of weapons by states and citizens. We pray. Praise the Lord, hear us. May the faithful be part of the shared in Christ's glorious resurrection. We pray. Praise the Lord, hear us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Praise the Lord, hear us. Father, I accept our humble place as we celebrate today the glorious triumph of your Son of the City of Death. May we be born over the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray confidence in the Father and the Word of God in your name.